I just wanted to show this off really quick and, and see what a planetary entry would look. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, wow. I did not expect that. Okay. So of course by now you've probably heard that Starfield has hit the digital shelves this past week. The reviews, the anecdotes, the gripes from all the gameplay are flooding through social media. One thing that kind of stuck out to me that I actually kind of heard a few weeks ago was what would the planetary entry system look like? Would you have a seamless descent or would it be a loading screen that would hit you if you approach the planet? Well, I watched a YouTube video on this the other day and they set their ship towards the planet, they let it go, and by the time they reached it, it was just a big blurry texture, and it was very anticlimactic, and nothing happened. So you have to enter the planet through some other means, and you're gonna hit that loading screen, and then you're gonna be on the planet, and you're gonna see those details load. However, if you were thinking about developing a game like this, and you're interested in some interstellar or space game, there's actually an asset that will do this for you, at least as a base or a starting point. So if you wanted that functionality, somebody's already developed something like this that you can probably base your game off of. And I'm not trying to undermine the Starfield developers. This is a amazing feat and really, I, I can't speak enough to it how difficult it is to build a game of this scale and have it work successfully and very seamlessly in general. To probably bake something in like that would be very difficult to do. And I don't even know if this asset can be used to do something that large. I I'm thinking maybe you have a small PVP game, regardless of what you wanna do with it, They've made it an amazing effort with this game. And I'm again, I'm not trying to undermine it. I just want to review this asset and let other game devs know that there is something out there that they could start their project off with that would give them that seamless or at least some capabilities to have that seamless transition. So let's check it out here. So I'm going to start out by importing this asset into my project. And I'm going to assume that they have a example scene again i haven't looked at this in a couple years and they have the authors have been pushing out updates very regularly i i swear i get an email every month that's new updates to this so whoever is working on this and I'll, I'll link it in the description so you guys can check it out yourself they have an amazing toolkit here which is uh very feature rich and i'm sure it's just grown in the last couple years so let's check it out i think i've got it imported now okay looks like just some Example textures and things you can use in your own project. Uh, so, okay, so I guess this project is organized by type of space feature, I guess would be the word. So you can see different nebulas and things that you can stick in the background. Now, now I don't think that you'll be able to fly up to a nebula and see the individual gas particles that I guess would make up a nebula. So don't get too excited there. Also, I'm, I'm not sure about I'm not sure about stars and what they would look like, but I, I'm pretty sure these planets will let you zoom right into it. Or, the, or at least he has a setting where you can enable that. And I'm gonna try to find that really quick. And I believe he does have a sample rocket ship prefab. I'm not so sure if we can actually use it or not. Again, I haven't looked at this in a couple years. So let me just look for the atmospheric entry feature. See, let's check out this atmosphere, see what that looks like. I could just read through the documentation, but you know, I'm not gonna do that right now. Wow, it's like a little buggy. I don't know why this is doing that. This is the stationary ones. Okay, so it's not that, but this is a cool first look, right? I mean, this is a pretty cool looking planet. So cloud sphere. No, that's not what I want. Maybe it's this terrain. Yeah, I bet you it's this terrain planet. Uh, let's check it out. Anyways, all right, let's see what this demo is. Okay, I think it's gonna show me some options. Interesting, all right, so let's just run this and see what happens. So if you look here, the author gives you some hints on how to develop the terrain. 
that we're going to view here. This is the example I want. It's just not working for some reason. Um, oh, 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 oh. Look at that. It does help to read the instructions. Required packages, the first thing it says, in order to use the terrain, you must install burst package. I, this felt so familiar. I ran into this issue a billion years ago when I worked on this. All right, so let's do that. So we got to go to package manager and we're going to look at the burst plugin. Is there a version that he cares about? No. Done. Saw it right down here. Uh, I didn't even commit any of this, so I don't have a fallback. Bad, bad, bad practice there. Always commit as soon as you put some new package like this in so that if you get excited and you start playing around like I did, you have a very solid fallback commit to refer, revert back to. Great, that's installed. Let's see if we got anything different. Oh, cool. All right, let's let's just look. Let's just start here. All right, better than Starfield. Here we go. Look at that. I'm gonna I'm gonna start flying in. Oh wow, look at this. Okay, I'm on approach. I'm on approach. I'm coming in hot. Look at that. Look at the details. It gets more and more detailed. LOD load on demand. Look at that. And I can literally just like, if you had a spaceship, you can just set down right here. Oh, look at that. And you could just kind of, oh, wow, this is really cool. And I'm sure there's a texture gradient that can be adjusted or applied as you go. And, and once you get your hands on it, you can probably even customize this a lot more. I mean, there's so much potential to this. Look at this. I'm just hovering around on the surface here. I mean, these are just stock textures that, that are here. And like, look at this, I'll fly out and you can see that the textures, they slowly lose quality as you zoom out. See that? You can see that transition. And there's all kinds of settings here. So let me see if I, if I zoom back in. I mean, if I fly back in, okay, let's see if I can up the detail. Let's max it out. Oh God, that's, that's really chugging along there. Okay. All right. Well, all right, let's see. Let me back that off a little bit. Cool. Okay. Um, wow. Yeah. You, if you check these settings, you have a smallest triangle size, so you can really tweak the triangle size based on maybe the type of computer or hardware that the game would be running on. There's all kinds of different detail tiling baked effects. I mean, this, I'm sure you can get pretty crazy with this. This is really cool. Okay, so let's go, let's get out. Look at, look at that transition. Out of atmosphere, it goes to black, just like, just like in space, because, you know, I've been there. Okay, so, no, just kidding. All right, so here's the dark side of the planet right now. That is, that is just really cool. Love this effect. This guy, this guy deserves a ton of credit for this. This is an amazing project to just undertake. You can see it's a little blurry. It's like World of Warcraft level textures right now. And then if you want to zoom in closer, I'm, I'm sure you can bake in some really nice textures for this and have this come alive. And it's not perfect. Yeah, it doesn't. It's not as realistic. And I wonder if you could achieve something a lot more planet like if you spent some time on this again, I haven't, but it works. I mean, I wonder if you start putting buildings on here and, and maybe you can write a plug in to add building support and and that sort of thing. But I don't know. I thought this was really cool. What else do we have? Do we have another example? This is the simplex one. Train examples. Height map. What's that look like? Oh, yeah. Let's check this one out. So if you notice it was completely solid purple for a second or solid pink, there is a atmosphere setting that is customizable. The colors, I, I think, is this the terrain or is this atmosphere? Yeah, so right, you can see the hues kind of shift around a little bit. 
um, the horizon colors, you can change it. So you can get pretty creative with this. This can all be programmatically set as well. So let's zoom in. So you can see, okay, I got some terrain that's pretty rough, some mountainous terrain. And as I come in closer, it's just that, it just the texture quality just gets better and better or higher resolution, I guess, the closer you get. And I'm upside down. I think I can roll. Ooh, cool. All right. So yeah, that's pretty nice. And then you can, I wonder if you could do another level, another transition of detail at this level. I think I got that to happen when I was playing around with this. Like I said, it was a few years ago. I think there was a setting that allowed you to do that. And honestly, I'm going to put the, I'm going to give him credit in the description. This is all his work. I just wanted to show you guys that how something like that could be done. I know I'm, I'm probably underplaying it a little bit easier said than done. Right. But this is a really cool thing if you're looking to build your game, if you're a game dev and you're looking to develop a planetary system where you can seamlessly come in and out of orbit, in and out of the atmosphere. This plugin creator has done it for you. At least he's created a foundation. I believe it's fully customizable so you can get in there and start hacking away to make it fit your game needs. I wonder if you can use some of his code and do the same kind of functionality with a building. Um, or cityscapes and things like that. I'm sure it's going to get pretty complex, but I mean, this just out of the box is pretty amazing. What else examples are in here? Animation. Oh, what's this? Oh, so he's using. OK, so yeah, so he has all these classes like this. Um, terrain, ocean, material. And terrain, uh, I know there was another file called terrain planet. And I believe those are all scripts that you can use that will enable this type of behavior. And this one is supposed to show me some type of animation near the ocean, maybe. And I think I even played around with this to really fake the transition from outer space into the atmosphere is that when you're higher up, slow down the descent so like you can be going through interstellar space interstellar space really quickly and as you get here you pretend that the player is traveling very quickly but then you actually slow it down you slow the ship down and kind of fake that effect right nothing has to be realistic so you fake that ship entry slow it down slow it down even further and then you'll still have that high speed register here and then as you get closer to land you can probably fake that motion a little bit and it does it for you automatically a little bit. Oh yeah, here you go. Okay, so there's some uh, dynamic textures there, some water animations. So what does that look like when I zoom out or when I fly out? So I can't even tell. I can't even tell what's going on there. Just looks like a little tiny lake. So that's like, pick a big lake and there it is. Let's see what happens when I zoom in. Texture becomes more apparent, more animated. Ah, oh, I thought it was further away. Yep. And this is just his stock examples. Again, I'm sure you can really take this to a whole other level. I, I mean, this it's not a very big planet, but you fake it, right? So if you can somehow leverage this as a base template to build off of. I mean, you've got the whole functionality right there. OK, so you're on approach. Obviously, it's not going to look like that, right? So you're going to have to fake your game, your, your player ship's velocity a little bit and make it work for to create that illusion that you're you're coming in on a giant planet, maybe slow it down. Maybe your ship shrinks and maybe when he gets out of the ship, you can have some kind of quick loading thing. So you allow them to come down here, but they don't just land and then you watch the player get out. Maybe you transition, do a little mini transition from the ship onto the you know, ladder where he can jump down out of the ship and then you can load some additional stuff there. Maybe maybe there's a in between there again. Just fake it. You don't need to make the code do realistic things. You just need to make it look realistic or at least make it feel immersive. Sorry, I'm just, I'm just having a lot of fun out of the box, just kind of hauling, hauling around this planet. 
What other cool stuff does he have in here? I mean, this just this is just amazing. Just out of the box, this this like earth like terrain there. Uh, so there's some waves. Let's check that out. Let's look at shore first. Okay, that's that looks pretty similar. What's the thing say? Beaches and shoreline. Oh, you know, what's that look like? Oh, look at that. You can see the waves crashing down. That's a pretty cool touch. And that's probably all configurable. You can set the speed of the animation. Anyways, I don't want to dig into that right now, but I just feel like this is such a great tool to start off. Look at that. Look how it just, I zoom in. I think there may have been a velocity setting that he already thought of that on approach, it slows down the ship. Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't, I don't know if I, I don't think I developed that or I, I think he has that baked in somewhere. I think there's a feature for that. Anyways, if you guys want to see more of this content or see what I can do with this, uh, let me know. Uh, I, I love working on this. This is really fun. I'm, I know this channel focuses more on the networking and multiplayer side, but I mean, that's going to fit right into this. I can literally just dump in my multiplayer stuff that I've been working on right into this and immediately have people join. I mean, you could have a single planet deathmatch game and, you know, look how I'm pretty sure he does mess with the velocity because I'm going a lot slower right there. But now as I speed away, I'm my, I'm picking up speed. There is definitely some kind of simulation going there. This is this planet has the best simulation of that so far. Uh, I'm really impressed by that. But what I was trying to figure out was if you have a let's say you have a PVP game and you want to have a big planetary wide death match. This planet isn't that big. You could probably make those characters have a couple little ships that maybe they can't go higher than this altitude and you like lock them to the atmosphere and you can shoot each other and do all kinds of crazy stuff. I mean, this is just out of the box. Amazing. I can't, if you haven't seen this, check it out. I, I don't think it's free, but you know, it, there's always a unity sale going on that you can check out. And again, I'm going to link this, this, uh, amazing plugin in the description. So you guys can check it out. I mean, the shoreline and the waves are just really cool. Yeah, you're not talking amazing, oh my god, realistic graphics with this. But again, these are just his out-of-the-box demonstration textures and materials and animations. So, you know, if somebody's really good at that, I'm sure they can make this just look incredible. I mean, look at this right now. If you had an interesting and engaging gameplay, this will be a lot of fun. So I'm moving a much slower speed right now. Oh, the wheel changes speed. It was right in front of me the whole time. Okay, let's... Let's see if I can speed up. I don't know. It's not really working. Anyways. Oh, maybe it did work. Yeah, there we go. So look at that. Okay. So here, here's with the wheel super fast. Okay. Oh, that's, oh, I'm going to lose the planet. Okay. So you can engage, you can have this slow speed as you approach here. Let me slow it down. So I'm coming in slow, coming in slow, pick up speed. You can kind of forward that up and then and then maybe as you get closer, you slow it down again. Like I almost feel there's a transition there. Anyways, I feel like I'm rambling on about the speed and transitions there, but it's just so cool to play with. I can just like hear some atmospheric music playing in the background right now. Actually, if you go and check out this plugin, the web page, I think, or maybe his YouTube channel, I think there is already some amazing uh, demos that he's done for us. And I think that's what sold me in the beginning. And he I think he does have a really cool music track on it. I just wanted to look at a couple more things. I mean, there's so many things in this project that he's just baked in already. Um, and yeah, if you don't want terrain and you just want a planet floating there and you want to be able to see it like what's currently in Starfield, you can do that. You can use all these nebulas and cloud spheres and starscapes and background star you know individual stars and nebulas and whatnot but i'm just here to play right now so let's burst oh 
You need to install the burst package. Yeah, I got it. Atmosphere. Yeah, we checked all that out. Height map, we did that. Collider, we tried that. What's a spawner? What's areas? Let's check out areas. What's it say? Different areas on the planet. Okay. So you're making your PvP game and maybe you have a, you know, kind of a red versus blue setup and you lock them to a specific side. I, I, I really don't know. Let's see. He's got some things in here. I'm just not, I'm not familiar with. And again, I just wanted to show this off really quick and, and see what a planetary entry would look. Oh, did you guys see that? Oh, wow. I did not expect that. Okay. Wow. Okay. So this is like increasing as I fly, I'm flying in through it. Oh, and I can, I can like get loot. Get the cargo and get the hell out. All right, and let me let me let me back out of this atmosphere so you guys can see the texture unload. You see that? Look at that. It's like barely noticeable, right? And let's see if we can get closer. Wow, look at that. That's so cool. It's like a Star Wars cannon. Anyways, yeah, I and I'm not trying to undermine what the Starfield crew has done. I mean, what they've put together, it seems amazing and the reviews are very positive at this point. I plan on purchasing it and playing it. I'm in the middle of a couple other projects right now, so I don't really have the time to dump into playing a full-blown RPG at this point, but soon, let's see if I can Oh, that's pretty cool. All right, maybe let's just take a look at one more and we'll just wrap this up. I just I just thought it would be fun to show this off a little bit with everybody talking about Starfield and the planetary entry kind of thing. We did depth uh, underwater atmosphere. Let's just do underwater. Not really seeing any difference. Do I need to go underwater? Uh, maybe I need to be in an ocean. This is what happened to that streamer. They were just getting closer and the texture was just getting blurrier and blurrier. Not like this, like this is actually detailed. Like, did you see that? Look at this, look at the level of detail here. Like this looks like correct. Like I'm just sitting above it in my ship, but they just went, Boop, right through the middle of it and now you can see it from the inside that's pretty cool but they could not it was just empty space but let's see i want to see the ocean it shows you how to render the ocean underwater this is done by duplicating the blah 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 okay so does that mean there's depth to this okay i, I still don't see what they mean by that but anyways so you can have an ocean and just put like a 2D texture over the screen to simulate animations of water movement and fish and what, whatever you want to put in your game. I'm sure it's much more complicated than that. I'm just, just brainstorming. I don't think we saw feature. Let's just check it out one more. And I think we'll just end it at that point. Oh, cool. <laughs> Look at these giant features is what he's calling it looks like big pyramids big horns on this planet i bet you there's a smiley face if you zoom out far enough and fix the lighting so we zoom into this big old pyramid you kind of slow down on approach you can see the gravity of it i mean i the scale is just i'm not able to i think there's some tricks you can do with the game that just make this feel enormous and in order to do that you have to have something else to put it in perspective maybe if you had like you could show your ship's windshield or a banana or some other people or something to give you that that perspective that it's just massive. That's really cool. And then let's just back out of this.
yeah and again i'm not saying that this is going to be a immediate replace of having a amazing seamless planetary entry but somebody has worked on this somebody deeply cares about this is in, in and they're putting a ton of effort into it so if you're considering making a game like this which i hope you do um, there's a project out there already that's working on it for you so i don't know why this went to crazy so this was what it looked like in starfield when you get really close this seems like something is broke or maybe they didn't texture this side of it and maybe the side wasn't set up for that yeah see this looks okay to me it was like i got a dead spot or it rendered weird anyways this looks really cool i hope you guys enjoyed this uh let me know in the comments what you think if you want to see more content like this i thought this was a pretty amazing asset here um, and again, I can do some multiplayer stuff with this to just kind of give you an example of where to start. Um, let me know and uh, let me know what you think about this asset. And, uh, and I'll again link to the author in the comments. All right. So thanks for watching. And of course, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Until next time. Thanks for watching.